you are a superstar. People see you, they hear your music, and they like, man, oh my God, it's Cash Page. But before Cash Page was Cash Page, she didn't always want to be Cash Page. Growing up, wanting to look like other people. Mm -hmm. Please tell me about that journey and how, like, what happened to where you were like, nah, bro, I'm me and that's cool. My mom didn't really allow me to dress how I wanted to dress. Like, she used to throw my sweats in the trash, my hats. Like, like uh, dressing tomboyish wasn't, you know, appropriate. So I feel like my whole life I had to be somebody else. And I've always been able to fit in with everybody. But, you know, you want to fit in with everybody and be a people pleaser and want everybody to like you. So I feel like as I graduated high school, I had went to another school to graduate early. Kind of just was like, man, I'm my own person. And, you know, I just had to battle that. Like, that's why I called the tour me versus myself because I feel like for these past few years, since I've been in the game and since I just like been growing up as a person, I'm like, I'm my biggest critic, I'm my biggest hater, you know, and I'm my biggest lover. So it's just like I'm just learning how to more so love myself now. To the girls who right now just they look in the mirror and they don't like what they see and they want to be like everybody else because that seems like the cool thing to do. Mm -hmm. What do you say to them so that they can realize like who they are is okay? I would say look in the mirror and just tell yourself you're beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Like words of affirmation are the best way to get out of your own head. Because I feel like it's like saying, I'm be the biggest artist in the world. Sometimes you don't even believe yourself. You'll just be like, oh, am I tripping? You know what I'm saying? Is that too? No, nah, nothing's impossible. Mm -hmm. You can do whatever you put your mind to. And I feel like, especially, you know, as all of us, we God's children. So it's just mm -hmm. like about allowing him to shine his light and never letting nobody dim ours. Um, but that reminds me of, like, Doubting Me is mm -hmm. one of my favorite songs hey, by you. Just because of the hook. I'm going to be the biggest thing you ever seen. They're going to mm -hmm. see my name and flashing lights like, hell yeah. You. But you say... They want me to fall off so bad. Mm -hmm. I don't know what drugs you had. Yeah, so I mean, it's like you tweaking. It's like still, like, bro, <laughs> no, nah, I don't know what what grade of heroin you got, but slap your dealer. Have you met me? Facts. You're supposed to talk that talk. Like, I like that talk. <laughs> You're dreaming big, but it's reality. Talk to me about your love of hats. Hmm. My dad has always wore hats growing up. Like, uh, even my old videos, me being like six years old, I got hats to the side. Yeah. And I just like, I don't know, I feel like hats complete the steez. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's kind of like, it's like when you have fresh days or fresh Nike. Yeah. It's like, it just completes the whole package. So I feel like when I throw a hat on my head, I'm like, yeah, this is what I was missing. Yeah, shout out to the triple D again. Facts, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So you spent Valentine's Day talking about, oh, I'm going to have Valentine's Day, y'all. That's cute. I'm single. Okay, but tell me the truth. You really tell me you ain't got no hoes? The thing is, I don't have no hoes right now because I don't want no hoes right now. Okay. But, it's, have... but it's easy to hit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can hit somebody up right now, and just, you know, and it'd be that. But I feel like, in my mind, I'm so tired of wasting time. I've had hoes my whole life. <laughs> she said she wants something real okay so what is it that you look for in a partner i look for loyalty i look for goofiness like you gotta have a sense of humor on you like because mm -hmm. i laugh at everything so it's like if majority of our conversations is laughing i love you you know what i'm saying because it's just like i just love that vibe it's joyful right and then I feel like of course you gotta be bad you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like gotta be you know easy on the eyes and just family oriented I got to be able to bring you around my family. I want my mom to be like, oh, she's stuck up, bro. This, this, that. Like, I want my mom to be like, oh, she cool. Like, she fit right in with us. Yeah. That'd be crazy. That's a great <laughs> quality. So you paying for BBLs? A girl to get me to pay for that, I must really, really like you. Like, I don't even fly girls out. Oh, damn. When they you gotta fly, fly to you, you... Yeah, yeah you got to fly to me. If I like you, I'll buy you a plane ticket back. Or I'll just buy it, buy it back because you, you know what I'm saying? You spend money to come see me. But I just... I'm just not gonna waste my money on flying a girl out. That's real. I'll just see you when I'm in your city. <laughs> she said, I'm not pressed. Can't be. <laughs> <laughs> so what's it gonna take for somebody to really lock you down? I mean, like, you're... If I'm at your show tonight at the House mm -hmm. of Blues, like, what am I supposed to say to you if I'm in a crowd and you're on a stage? Um, I don't know, because I just... I was just talking to a, a shorty out in Toronto that was oh, front row. Yeah. She was fire, you know what I'm saying? I feel like... It's just about having that aura about you where I'm like, oh, I need to know who you are. Because you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. Justin Bieber and Haley Bieber, I mean, Haley was a fan before she was, you know what I'm saying? You are such a Capricorn. <laughs> <laughs> open your mouth and say some Close mouths don't get fed around this house. Let's get to the triple D. You from here, mm -hmm. you're doing your thing, um, but who in Dallas are you looking forward to or would you like to work with? Mm, I would say Luna Luna, which is a band out here. Um, of course, Nezzy. Mm -hmm. Like Nezzy, super dope. She gives like kind of like Missy Elliott vibes. Yeah. Like what? Like I don't know. She's just hard. I like the fact that she's like super poetic with what she says. And then I'm waiting for Goyayo to get out. 
Man, say. <laughs> um, you put this little snippet on your Instagram of a song, and it was like totally kind of. It was rock, right? I love it. Thank you. The lyrics. Oh, thank you. What's your process when you write? I just freestyle. Whatever comes to my mind, I just say it. Because I feel like if I write too much, I'm going to overthink it. And I used to be in the studio, and I take hours in the studio session trying to write this perfect song mm-hmm. and like wasting time is like nah just go in the booth and say whatever come to your mind if you don't like it you just don't like it but regardless you may you you're productive nah real talk real talk i'm excited for your show tonight yeah, thank you anything else that we need to know but man just keep being you keep having fun with life you know what i'm saying keep shooting for the stars aiming for the moon and we all trying to get somewhere and we all are going to be somewhere so the next time you meet a fine ass girl can she take a picture with your chain yeah Okay, because I want to take a picture with your chain. All right, bet. Let's do it right now. <laughs> Which one? All of them or this one? What's up, Chris? <laughs> she said all of them. Which one going to look good on this drink? 